Today is an exciting day because my parents are here. They are going to be here for a few days. This is kind of the end of their road trip. They went out to Sturgis for their bike rally. And they used to do that like every single year, so it's cool to see that they are doing that once again. But then they came out here to Colorado. They're at their hotel kind of getting situated and then I'm going to meet up with them so I haven't seen them yet. They're staying really close so there's like a Target right down the road for me that way and they're staying like right by the Target. So I'm about to go and pick them up and then bring them here so that they can finally meet Evie so I'm really excited about that. I know my dad's excited to meet her which I think is really cute. He didn't used to like dogs at all until he got Doodle the Poodle. Now he loves them so I'm excited for him to meet her, play a little bit and then we're gonna go get some dinner and then I think go back over to their hotel just to kind of hang out for a bit and then tomorrow's when we'll actually do some exciting stuff so I think what I want to do is take them to Breckenridge to do some hiking because it's really cool out there. The next day Dwight can finally join us because he's busy at work right now. He did manage to get off on Today is Tuesday. He got off on Thursday. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing some more of Colorado. That's kind of the nice thing about when people come to visit is I feel like it's a mini vacation for me as well. Let's get on with the exciting stuff. I'm here with my parents. <laughs> How was the drive up to the trail? It's good. good. I, uh, I bailed uh, you out. Uh -huh. I bailed mm -hmm. you out. <laughs> Yep, my dad helped me park because I got a little stressed out. <laughs> my mom got a little stressed out. Yep. But uh, we are here, and we are here with Evie, and we are going to start our trail. And we are doing the McCullough Gulch Trail, which I did with Dwight a few weeks ago. And I'm ready for my parents to see some more of Colorado. Yep. My mom is worried about this trail. I didn't say that, I just said after that drive up here. I don't know what else you got in store. <laughs> What do you think of the trail? Was it worth yes, it? I told you I could do it. Was it worth it? Yeah. I, I didn't stop. I didn't yeah. need to. I never said I was going to turn around. Well, you did good. Proud of you. It's hard to see, but there's actually a mountain goat up there. A little white dot. I'm here with my dad. Hi. What did you think of the trail? Good. Good. It's uh, technical. Technical. There's lots of little rocks to climb up. Yeah. Had to take lots of little breaks, but that's okay. Yep. And you liked the gulch? Goats. We saw some goats. Mm -hmm. Saw some mountain goats. What do you think, Mom? I think that your dad should help you with that dog. <sighs> yeah, so the difficult part now is going to be going down and having the dog try not to kill me. But we can do it. The dog wants The dog's sticks. currently completely wrapped around my legs. I don't know if you can see this. So what do you think of my dog? Cute. <laughs> Cute stuff with her. He likes her. He was cuddling with her in the back seat. Uh, 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 huh? It's pretty tough. Yes, she is.
feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes so today we are headed towards St. Mary's Glacier with my parents again. It's their last day here, so we thought we would go do another hike. Today's isn't going to be quite as strenuous as yesterday's was. We were all a bit beat at the end of the day. So yeah, we chose a trail that we felt like wouldn't take too long and it isn't as long of a drive either. It's like only an hour long drive to get there, which is nice. So we're gonna go do that and then later we are going to try to go to a brewery, I think. So maybe Breckenridge Brewery or whatever else we can find nearby. But yeah, that'll be my last day with my parents. It's been lots of fun. So here we go. Whenever we get to the trail, Evie gets a little bit anxious because she just wants to go and she gets really impatient with us whenever we need to prepare. Right, puppy. It's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car My dad and I are the photographers here because we're the ones that came down here just to get pictures of this waterfall. <laughs> Drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarettes. City lights looking fine. And I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car If you look closely, you can see all these people up here. We saw some people with sleds and stuff um, that apparently they're gonna go sledding down that. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> All right, so I just looked a little bit further, and this guy actually has skis on. That is crazy, insane, and scary. Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make What do you think, Kiwi? Oh. I want to get up there. No way. Right there is a really All right, here we are in the snow in July. Oh, it's August now. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the first time I've seen snow in August. Oh, I've never seen snow in July. In August. <laughs> Evie's having fun. Oh, and the guy is skiing now. Oh my god. Are we going to be in his way? Oh, you did? You can stop. Or her way? So 
we're at the St. Mary's Glacier and it's August. Here's Walden. Walden there. I'm the one person who can't. <laughs> I love the snow. <laughs> oh boy, Evie. 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 Oh, The puppies are like, what's going on? <laughs> We are so stinking cute. I'm over here. I'm over here. I know. Is that from Evie? Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. That pulls you up here. Well, it's all the way out. And it's almost good, Evie. Off, it's, uh... What did you find, Evie? <laughs> oh, it's shoot off. It's fun. What's our guess is as our as to our elevation? Ooh. Like nine thousand. Ten thousand, I was gonna say. Okay. Eight thousand. Okay. We are at eleven thousand. Holy crap! We're at the top, sort of. A top, I guess. <laughs> what do you think, Dwight? That's what I always ask in videos. Pretty good view. Yeah. So we did this trail. Maybe you can get up there. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. There's the parents. Hello. <laughs> like, no. Why it's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <That's a little laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, we'll make it. So yeah, we did this trail in the winter, Dwight and I did, but we were like really not prepared for it and we wore really stupid shoes and not enough warm clothes. Um, and it was really difficult because the whole trail is covered in snow. But today it was all just rocks, and I would say 100% worth it. Can I go up there? The drive was only like an hour, and the trail itself isn't that long, but there's like lots of other little trails along the way that you can do. But we did, and I'm really enjoying it. for my parents visit we just said goodbye so today we went hiking over at st. Mary's glacier which you saw and then we kind of came home and took like a rest break and then we went and got dinner over at next door which is really close to me and Dwight it was really good and then we wanted to hang out a little bit longer so we went over to their hotel and just had some beers and like watched impractical jokers and chatted and then left so Dwight and I are home now and my parents are heading back tomorrow. It was a really nice visit and I'm sad to say goodbye because I don't know when the next time I'm gonna see them is 
but hopefully sooner rather than later. But yeah, as always, it was nice to see them. Okay, in front of my bookshelf here because I have a couple of gifts that my mom got me and Dwight when they were in the Black Hills in South Dakota. So my mom got me this little prairie dog, which is really cute and kind of holds significance for us because when I was a kid, we went out there and we saw the prairie dogs and I really loved them. And it was kind of funny because I was telling my mom a story about seeing prairie dogs out here in Colorado. <laughs> Evie thinks... <laughs> Evie thinks this is a toy, which is not, which it is not, um, which is why I actually have it on the bookshelf here, but now she's sitting here wagging her tail. <laughs> she's not getting it. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, we saw prairie dogs here in Colorado and I was telling my mom a story about them and then she was like, oh, I have these presents for you and she handed me a prairie dog so I thought that was kind of funny. And then for Dwight, she got him this little rubber ducky It says Deadwood Duck. Um, and the significance behind this is that in Manitou Springs, they actually have a little like rubber ducky store. It's literally an entire store full of different rubber ducks, which is ridiculous. And Dwight thought that was really funny when we were out there, and my mom thought it was really funny how funny Dwight found it, so that's why she had to get him that. So this is the end of my parents' visit. Like I said, it was really wonderful, and I hope that they come back soon. And that's the end of this adventure.